Hey everyone, it's Grumpy. In this video I'm going to be bringing you 10 tips and tricks for session that may help improve your gameplay experience. Some of these tips you may already know, some of them may be new to you, but either way they are definitely handy things to know if you really want to master the mechanics of this game. Tip number one. If you tap Y once, you'll jump on your board in your natural stance. If you double tap the Y button, you'll jump on your board in your switch stance. Tip number two. If you mash the Y button when your character bails, you can get up much quicker. Here you can see me falling and mashing the Y button. And here you can see me falling and not pressing anything. Tip number three, if you double tap your left or right trigger, it will change the direction that you pop out of a grind. Double tapping the left trigger will make you pop out to the left. Double tapping the right trigger will make you pop out to the right. Tip number four, when you've set a session marker and you're trying the same trick over and over, it's faster to reset with your character off your board so that you can run and jump onto your board. Tip number five. When you 180 into a grind or manual, the direction that you need to flick to pop out of the grind or manual is the same as before you did the 180. One thing that does seem to change is the direction that you need to flick in order to catch the board. Tip number six. When you lock into a nose slide or tail slide and you want to pop out without flipping the board, you need to flick towards the direction that your tail or nose is sticking out. The directional input to flick your feet rotates along with your nose slide or tail slide. Tip number seven. When you're placing an object in the object dropper, Instead of having to rotate the object around in order to match it up with the ground, you can actually just scroll to a different object and then scroll back to the same object and it will reset according to the surface that you're currently looking at. Tip number eight. In the starting area where there's the gap between the two angled ledges, you can actually place an A-frame rail perfectly between the two ledges and it creates a really interesting obstacle combination. Tip number nine, if you're watching a replay in orbit camera, you can actually move the orbit. You click in your left thumbstick and you can move the center of focus so that you can then zoom in and out on an area of your choice. And the final tip for today, tip number 10. As you probably know, holding your back foot thumbstick down on an angle in the left or the right pocket changes the direction in which you ollie. But what you may not know is that it also changes the way you scoop and pop certain tricks, and it can be used to manipulate certain tricks to make them look interesting or steezy. This mechanic can also allow you to pop to the other side of ledges, so you can do tricks like overblunts. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something. I'll see you next time. Peace.